guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. For today's demonstration, we want to show you on how to make cocktails. Now, a cocktail is a mixture of more than two beverages, which can be alcoholic or non-alcoholic. So for today's lesson, we want to make uh, alcoholic, beaver, co alcoholic cocktails. So we have three methods of making these cocktails. Number one, we can make cocktails by um, shaking. By shaking, we need to have a cocktail shaker. Remember, we add all the ingredients and then we shake, and then we sip into the glass that we are serving. The second method of making cocktail is stirring. So for stirring, we need the bathroom, and with the corner that you have, you just need to stir all the ingredients together, and then you just present with that, uh, that glass. Now, the last method of making cocktail is breading. Now, breading method is just the addition of now the different beverages that you are adding. You just add it to one glass, maybe it is a soda, you add all of them. Then maybe you decorate maybe with a twist of lemon or maybe something, and then you present with the beer. So those are the three methods of making cocktails. Now to start with, we start with the pink lady cocktail. Now pink lady cocktail, uh, we require gin, for our case we have kirbis, we require grela in cellar, we need to have a cocktail shaker, we need to have some egg white, and then we need to we serve it using uh, a cocktail glass. Now to start with, in a cocktail glass, in a cocktail shaker, sorry. I'll add two parts of egg white. Some ice cubes. Now the level of ice cube will be paired with the you know with the need of the guest. Cocktail, sorry, using a um, torch measure, the torch measure, so we add two parts or two torts. One tot is 30 ml, two tot is uh, 60 ml, so I need two parts. And then I need a dash of glenadine syrup, just sorry, 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 be one part, sorry for that. Then I will cover my cocktail. So for shaking, this is how you hold the cocktail shaker. Two fingers there. Then to serve you to a cocktail glass, my oven strainer. Then now present it to your guest, maybe at the cart. You can use a coaster. Now the second, so that so that method is shaking mm -hmm. using a cocktail shaker. So the next method we now do uh, the one for stirring. So for this method, for this the cocktail is called highball cocktail. And for the glass, you can use a highball glass, or maybe you can use an old-fashioned glass. So you can either present it here. In this this is a old-fashioned glass, or use the highball glass. I prefer using the highball glass because again. The cocktail is called highball cocktail. So uh, for this cocktail, uh, we need to add some ice cubes. So I guess. Then, for our case, we are going to use the uh, Irish whiskey. So we need two parts of Irish whiskey. Then using the bus. Now 
add a dash of ginger ale, depending on the preference and the taste, I mean, and maybe how the guests want to have, grab that cocktail. So maybe, sometimes. Then it is important to decorate your cocktail. So here, I will use it. I use a wheel. That is a wheel decoration. And then you present your cocktail to your guests. Now, the third and last method of cocktail mixing is breading. So for breading, it's just a combination of different beverages, but the alcoholic beverage should only be one. So, um, let me use whiskey. So this cocktail, if you can, let, let, we will give it a name, we we'll call it Benetico cocktail. So, we have two parts of whiskey. with ice cube before adding the other ingredients so that will uh, not that first so let me use cup now depending on the taste We have the shaking, we have stirring, and we have breathing. So, of course, you now present to your guests to enjoy the cocktail. So, thank you for watching.